What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we have two grimy disrespectful goddamn kills that I needed to showcase to you guys on camera because I want to see exactly which one you dudes think is the more disrespectful. Now I saw one of these and these will all be linked in the description of course but one of these is from Reddit, the other one is on YouTube and um, props to this guy, um, Hatsuhane Luka and um, wait excuse me, Hatsune, Hatsune, I always get that pronunciation wrong. I get pronunciation wrong on a lot of fucking things. Um, and big shout out to Introspective as well too. I found both of these actually on Reddit so I mean I just lost the thread as to where this video was located or did I no it's right here but okay I wanted to watch both of these on camera now this one I already saw because it was a gif so I mean I just kind of took a look and saw and I know this one is fucked up so I want to look at the other one as well too and we can like kind of make out which kill was more disrespectful um I don't know I guess you can consider this somewhat of a new series but you know at the end of the day I always did kind of highlight smash clips in the past that were kind of like exciting that were interesting and you know I'm really trying to get back into you know my natural mode with YouTube after I've done all this analysis and breakdown and you know all this all this like clearing out of my head and stuff so I mean now let's take a look at exactly what these are now we're gonna watch the first one here and like I said I saw this one already this is fucked up so take a look for yourselves let's go um, so he gets the stitch face and then he has a bomb drops it and fucking footstools him in mid-air like that, 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 clearly the disrespect here is on so many levels. The fact that he got a bomb right after a stitch face, what in God's name are the chances of that? I think we saw Armada do something like that in uh, Melee relatively recently, but um, yeah, that this is just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> the drop into the footstool, dude. I, I, I don't know, man. Like if I was that Donkey Kong dude, I probably would have just stopped playing right there. I mean, did the game even go on after this? I can't even tell because, you know, it doesn't really show you how many stocks they had left. But if there were any stocks, but then again, he died and it didn't even say game right away. It usually says game right away. So, I mean, at this point now, if the match still went on, I would have just fucking killed myself. Like, that, there's no purpose to continue the game anymore after this. Styles had somewhat of a similar kill before where he had, he had Jigglypuff and he back air Shulk or forward air Shulk all the way at the end. Shulk tried to recover and then he just rested him. This is something along those lines. In fact, I think this one is a little bit more grimy because I remember one time I talked to Nairo and I was like, yo, Nairo, man, like I think one of the most disrespectful ways to kill someone or rather the most disrespectful way is by spiking them. And then I asked him, what do you think? Do you think spiking is the most disrespectful way to kill someone? And Nairo said, nah, definitely not. Footstooling somebody to death. Now that, to me, disrespect 100%. You can't get any more grimy than that. And this one manages to do even more than just footstool. Oh, God. All right. I, I can't watch any more of that, man. I'm going to have a bad taste in my mouth. But all right. Now we have this kill here, which involves Charizard and Mega Man. Now, I did not watch this one yet. So, like I said, we'll be using this to kind of break down exactly which kill was more disrespectful. And, of course, you have to have audio when and now I'm, I'm going through analysis of these things because... You know, the audio definitely adds to the experience, you know. If it's going to be something disrespectful, and you know, this this video labels itself the most disrespectful kill in Smash 4 history. Now, in my recent video, you saw that kill that Hungrybox did to the villager underneath the stage. That was fucking disrespectful. What we just watched was disrespectful as well, too. Styles has a ton of disrespectful clips, so for this one to have 13,000 views in only this short of a time period, two days, that's a lot of views for two days for this random video. So let's take a look at exactly what in God's name is going on in this one. Um, going to turn the volume up now. And um, let's see let's see what this is. Oh shit. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Oh shit! Nigga, damn! What the fuck was that? Holy shit! That was that was grimy. I'll admit. Wow. Oh yeah, that that was really fucking bad, dude. It was a different kind. You see, disrespectful kills can come in so many shapes and forms and fashions, from spiking somebody in a really creative way to doing something like this. This, this is grimy as hell. He walks. This is grimy as hell. I'm not even going to lie, man. And he stayed down. He stayed laying. Oh, man. Yo, I'm not trying to overhype the shit. But if this happened in a tournament set, he, whoever that Mega Man was would have gotten kicked out the fucking venue. <laughs> I don't mean to be, like, sounding too mean or whatever. But goddamn, nigga. He walked him to the end of the stage. Wait a minute. Full screen this shit. Full screen. He walked this nigga to the end of the He broke his shield. 
who would think to do this? And didn't even try to hit him at the end of the stage. He fucking... What? I'm sorry, man. What was going through this guy's head that he decided, okay, I'm not even going to kill this guy right here. I'm just going to fucking... And then he knew he would shield again? And then... Oh, man. What makes it disrespectful is not just the act itself, but the fact that he thought of this in, in seconds where he said, okay, um, his shield is broken. He didn't go for the kill right away. He could have definitely killed him. You know, Charizard with 108, that's a lot of fucking rage. With a forward smash at the edge of the stage like that, he could have definitely finished him off. But he didn't. He waited for his ass to shield after he fucking <laughs> and broke it again. And yeah, I, I don't know. All right, guys. When it comes to most disrespectful kills, I'm going to admit, man, it, it was this wasn't even a stylish kill. The fact that this was done on for glory, and it was done in such a fucking crude way, I, I think this is definitely probably candidate for the most disrespectful kill in Smash 4. Definitely. I won't say it's the most, because, you know, there's a lot of clips out there, but this one is definitely high up on my list. You guys gotta let me know exactly what you think. Um, if you have any disrespectful clips that you want me to kind of review on here, I'll, like, compare some and see how they go. If you like this kind of idea for a segment, then, um, let me know. I'll be, uh... <laughs> God damn, dude. I'll be, um... I'll be taking, you know, you guys' submissions if you think you have a disrespectful kill here. So, um, definitely let me know, man. And I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Leave your comment down below as to which kill you think was the worst. The first one or the second one. Take care of yourselves. And, of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.